welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm really excited to be making another video so soon. I didn't think that I would be able to sit down and get one made so soon. So first of all, sorry about my hair being wet. I don't have any makeup on, nothing. I just got out of the shower and wanted to go ahead and get my decks come back on because I don't know about you, but I hate not having my decks come on. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this video made, get it on, and then I'll get ready for my day. So I've got all the supplies I need right here. My transmitter, my skin tack wipe, and my sensor. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I put my sensor on my arm. I do always put it on the same side as my pump because I find that I get a better reading to my pump. Like the signal stays better if I have it on the same side. So I'm just going to go ahead and I already stopped my sensor. I'm going to take my pump off just for purpose of not having it get in the way and I'm kind of at an angle because I thought it'd be easier to like kind of turn and show you guys it's red right here because I just took off my old sensor so I'm gonna put the other one just kind of down a little bit right here so the first thing that I do is I use these skin tech wipes these things are amazing it will stay on without an extra sticker on it for the entire 10 days sometimes double that time if I do decide to keep it on for longer. So skin tech wipe and I just go ahead and wipe the entire area. And I'm gonna let it dry for like a minute usually. Um, it'll start to get kind of tacky as it dries. And then Make sure you keep your sticker. Um, I know a lot of you that are watching this probably know how to put a Dexcom on, but this video is probably mostly gonna be for people that are searching up um, how to put their Dexcom on, um, on their arm maybe. I'm not really doing a very detailed tutorial of this because I assume that most people know how to put a Dexcom on. And I do this by myself, obviously. I don't have you know anyone to help me do it, so I'm gonna show you kind of how I get it pinched up. Um, what I just did was I wiped skin tack on the adhesive pad of my Dexcom sensor as well. So that's pretty tacky. I like to kind of wave some air at this. And then I, I always forget to do this, but I'm not going to forget today to break this off before I start. And then I'm going to go ahead and stick this down. And then what I do to kind of pinch up my skin for this is I will put my knee up. I'm going to try not to look like too much of a chub right here. And I just kind of push my arm. I find the right angle and I push my arm up on my knee to kind of create a pinch, if you will, in the fat on my arm. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to click it in. Barely felt it. Take my transmitter. Pop it in, kind of rub around, and there we go. And now I'm ready to get it started again. I, um, I'm starting to feel like my blood sugar is getting a little high. I was at 118 about a half hour ago when I took it off to get in the shower, so um, should be fine, but I might be trending up. A little hack that I do to remember this number is I take a picture of this with my phone. And then if I ever need to remember it to restart the sensor again after, I have it saved in my phone. So if I need it for any reason, then I have it. I feel like there are a lot of times the same numbers, like repeated. I get the same numbers every once in a while. So there we go. Now I have my Dexcom sensor on my arm. Did it all by myself. I hope that someone got some use out of this video. Kind of learned, you know, some tips and tricks on how to do it by yourself. Um... If you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me. I'll leave the name down in the um, description box. Sorry about all the ums. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you.